Welcome back, everybody. We're leaving Goombella behind. Just kidding. She can teleport. Don't know how, but she can. Flurry, we need you. Uh, there we go. Happy Heart P has a chance to slowly restore a partner's HP. Eh. I mean, that that would be good in most cases. Where am I going? Now this is a new room. Uh, where there used to be just like a long hallway of uh, pipes. Now it's just this. What did that do? No way! It opened a shortcut! Oh, that's wild! That is so helpful. Alright, now what's this way? Gradual syrup. Not really that helpful. That's fine. I won't be able to get those for a little while. I'm just going to use this to go up. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I have just enough to level up two party members. But Flurry is not very helpful. First, you should have the badge that I want and you don't. You don't have anything I want to hear. I did not mean to talk to you. First attack enables you to defeat weak foes. Ooh, that's good. I might have to get that. Yeah, we're buying that. And this is also pretty good. Okay, so I can no longer get the thing that I need. First attack is zero, too. That's insane. I mean, I might as well attach charge, but I'm probably not going to use it. Uh, da, 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 da. Last stand P Mega Rush P. I want to attach pretty lucky P, but multiple foes. Yeah, multi bounce is not as good. And I'll go ahead and keep charge off for pretty lucky P. I think. Perfect. And we're gonna swap you. Also, Luigi is here with a friend. Who's the friend? Bluey. And this guy is a total liar, don't listen to him. You heard a story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens, I ended 
I end up landing in lava. Lava, man, you think it feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me. I'm well done. My pale skin's crispified. I'll never forgive this guy. I'm gonna make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm still hanging around with him. You'll pay Luigi. So, I'll eventually do an episode where we go through and do the Luigi stuff. But, uh, that is, that is not today. Alright, Coops, you're getting leveled up. I tried, and it won't let me. Oh, I have five, so I don't even have enough to get somebody. Yeah, so we're going to get Coops, and then once we get another Shine Sprite, we'll get the next partner. Alright, so Coops now does more damage. And what was his ability? Shell Shield, which is not that great. Fire Shield is better. Soft Stomp. Alright, what's in here? Howdy, my name is Wonky. Not just no stuff. I may not look like much, but I know a thing or two, you'd better believe it. And who knows, the stuff I know may even be stuff that could help you. So if you want to ask me a question, just speak up and ask away. If you pay me five coins, I suppose I could tell you about what's hidden below. There's a shop down here. What? Why would I be able to buy gold bars? I cannot imagine what I would need those for. So now there's uh now there's a peach sound on my hammer. All right, time to see the next one. Uh, go for it, Mario, break out the crystal star. Is it me, or is it up in the sky or something? Uh, what could that mean? Hmm. Thank you for taking me back to the surface. That saves me a lot of time. That means that beneath this town, the thousand-year-old ruins remain intact. <laughs> uh, 
and that door has been sealed shut for a thousand years by the Crystal Stars. In order to open that seal, we have to muster the power of all the Crystal Stars. But, um, why would they need to seal the treasure away in the first place? You think maybe they just wanted to protect it from thieves and robbers? No, that's not. That's not what? I don't know! Whoa, Professor Frankly. I'm sorry, so sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is, no one's even sure what it is that caused the town's demise. All that's written is this. Darkness stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this more, assuming we'll just make an... Well, you know the thing. Oh yeah, right. Anyway, what about the next crystal star? It looks like it's floating on that map. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitzville. There's a stunning arena there where great warriors engage in furious battles. Ostensibly, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights, but behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on, wager on the bouts. Um, if it's a floating city, how do we get up there? A special blimp flies there. It departs from Rogueport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. <laughs> Word on the street is all tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. Head west from Rogueport's main square and you'll reach the side of town controlled by Don Pianta. He's the Pianta Syndicate head, and I heard he makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzville. We have to talk to Don Pianta. Don Pianta is a recluse. Okay, uh, I assume I go in here. You're looking for Don Pianta, the person who runs this place? Well, if you want to learn about the criminal underworld of Rugport, find Ishnail in the east part of town. I'm assuming this is Ishnail. You want something, chump? This is the fortress of the Robo Thieves. You lost? What business be brings a chump like you to a place like this? Say it ain't a vacation. Was that? You want to meet that lion cheating, stealing, no good jerky for brains, Dom Pianta? Real thieves like us end up poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, yeah? You know all that and you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb? It'll cost you 64 coins and no budget on the price. At the store next to the Pianta Parlor in the west side of town, buy a dried mushroom, then a dizzy dial. Make sure you buy them in that order. Dried mushroom, dizzy dial. Do that and the shopkeeper will ask you your favorite color. You answer yellow. You see, 
Yellow is the password for getting into Don Scumbag's oh so comfy office. So dried mushroom and dizzy dial in that order and then yellow. Are any of these guys Gus? Okay, so that was Gus. Alright, a dried shroom. And then a dizzy dial. Well, it's asking what color my mustache is, but it was supposed to be favorite color. So, uh, you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. They didn't want to animate her moving. You can go through the door, go on back, you bad stuff. Is that what she just said? Hey, this is the office of Don Pianta Syndicate. Of the peon to send to get. Don't tell me you don't know that. <laughs> What's with you, wise guy? <laughs> I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef, spit it out quick or this is gonna hurt. <laughs> Excuse me? You wanna. You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? <laughs> See now, to me, that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No, you ought to be. <laughs> you got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Dom Pianta. I make crying babies weep. <laughs> you want I should run this bum out on a rail, boss? Look at him. What a rube. <laughs> you must look... You must like pain, funny guy. You just looking for trouble or what? <laughs> Not so fast, boys. <laughs> I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk, no? That ain't a crime. <laughs> so we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough them up. You got it? <laughs> so I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the de blimp. I can't read. Out with it. Was that you want to help some broad what got herself kidnapped? <laughs> and to rescue this dame, you're out collected into crystal stars. <laughs> the crystal stars? <laughs> hey, boss, ain't those things in that legend about the ancient treasure? <laughs> Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey, boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Um, excuse me, but, uh, that's not true. The treasure is real honest. Yeah, I have two of them. I can show them to you. But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some girl he's gone gaga for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor and you get your blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? Sure, we can do anything. What is it? <laughs> it's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. <laughs> See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. <laughs> they vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be in town somewhere. <laughs> we gotta find my daughter, Francesca and this Frankie and bring them both here if you're unable to bring them here then all you gotta do is tell me where they are <laughs> then I shall settle this matter quickly and with what is known as extreme prejudice oh my gosh boss 
We don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you. It's cause you lugs can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss, whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend. Then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. And just so we're clear, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. What are you going to do, game over me? Who is this? Hey, you're Mario. Wow, this is so cool. I never thought I'd meet a celebrity out here. Ooh, I know. Do you want to make an investment, Mario? My name is Lumpy, and I'm heading out to Dry Dry Desert to prospect for oil. I've lived my life hoping to get rich quick, and now my chance has come. But I still don't have enough startup funds. Could you please lend me some money? Uh, I can't remember what I get from this, but sure. You won't regret it. I'll keep accepting investments, so let's chat again in the future. Hey, I found him! Hey, back off, you creep. You want something? Or are you just, like, sidling up to people? What? Oh, uh, I'm not saying that. Dad asked you to find us? And take us to him? Frankie, what should we do if Dad finds us now? I don't know. And the boat's coming any minute. Dollface... Maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what he'll do to you if we do that? Francesca, baby doll. If he, if we can just talk calm like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie. Oh my gosh. More than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie. Let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But Butter Biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. Ugh. So, I just told her I'm not going to tell him, but I think I'm going to tell him anyway. <laughs> oh, whatever should we do? I almost said shall. Oh, whatever should we do? We have to say something to that Don Pianta fellow. I must say, though, I don't fancy a run of terrible luck. That would be unfortunate. Uh, I think we're gonna tell him anyway <laughs> oh look who's back the proverbial mustache you gonna brighten my mood <laughs> so give what you got you know the whereabouts of those two runaways I wonder what happens Interesting. I'm, I'm curious. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip a coin. Flip a coin. Tails. <laughs> what? 
I must be going deaf. Did you just say to me that you couldn't tell me? <laughs> you come waltzing in here and say that to me? To me? Do I look like a sucker to you? <laughs> I warned you, wise guy. Fine, you're going to need a mop to pick up what's left of you. Dad, wait. <laughs> Francesca. <laughs> boss, forgive me, boss. I'm sorry. Truly, I am. <laughs> Frankie. So, back you come. Head hung low and wit your tail between your legs. No, Dad, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Dad. <laughs> Boss, listen. I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, Boss. That's all I ask. No, Dad. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're going to punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. All to blame right here. Dad. Boss. Enough. Quiet, both of you. Francesca, my headstrong daughter. You used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie. You were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Dom Pianta. I feel such disappointment in you two. It's like a poison mushroom in my gut. I don't ever want to see your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where, just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go. Do you do what you want, even if it means getting married. Ah, uh, he slipped. He slipped. You're right, it is a little sappy. That's why I stopped reading. Uh, are you gonna give me my... Yeah! You still here? Hmm. Well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket. Woo! <laughs> Who knew that guy's got her smiling ear to ear? She's happy. That's good. Yeah, I know you were doing right. I know I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. <laughs> now go on, get your ugly mug out of my office. I got some intense emotions to compartmentalize. <laughs> I better hear something break. My, my, we've done it, Mario. Next stop, Glitzville. Wow. Oh, I guess I should check the lottery while I'm here. No! I mean, I got a mushroom. It's free mushroom. Mm -hmm. 
And guys, that's going to do it for this one. There was a lot of backtracking that I hopefully cut out for you guys. That's, that's a problem for future me, not present me. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and hit the subscribe button. And in the next one, we will start Chapter 3, Glitzville. Also my favorite part of the game, to be honest. Except for maybe Chapter 5. Maybe. Nah, I still think this one's the best one. Anyway, uh, goodbye.